Members, this bill basically is creating a task force to look at K through 12 education in the area of computer science and setting up a game plan. You know that I uh, have been a longtime advocate of science, technology, engineering, and math. And it's no surprise to you that we live in a technology-rich world. Everything is about technology, and our students are being left behind. They are thirsting for more technology education in the classrooms. And so what this bill is doing is basically, again, establishing a task force that's giving them some very specific things to develop in terms of how are we going to train the teachers to deliver the computer science education? What are the specific workforce gaps that we have in our state so that we know that we're preparing for that? We're basically building the pipeline of talent. States all around us are doing that. You'll see we have data that shows that all of the states around us are offering more computer science classes in their high schools than we are. It's getting to be quite a large group. I think it's technically called the Commission and uh, Task Force. But I'm going to meet at the River Center, right? We're gonna, yeah, we're going to have to. <laughs> right, but you know uh, what? Everybody wants a seat at the table. This is a um, this is going to be landmark work that we do, and I think life changing for our students. Uh, it's a it's certainly an, a bipartisan effort. Everybody wants to be a part of it, and so we we don't want to exclude anyone. No objections. Those amendments are adopted. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. We have um, you know, a lot of support for this bill. There's uh, maybe one group I'd like to bring to the table. They're like a national advocate for computer science education, and, and that's code.org. And so if they could make a few opening comments, and then we'll take the cards in whatever order you'd like. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Good morning, Mr. Chairman. My name is Alexis Harrigan. I'm the Senior Director of State Government Affairs for code.org. We are a national nonprofit organization focused on expanding access to computer science education in K-12 schools for all students. The pandemic has taught us that computer science is more important than ever. Increasingly connected and we've become an increasingly connected and uh, society dependent on technology. Every industry has also been impacted by automation. Some occupations which may have been someone's lifelong career no longer exist. We at Code.org believe that every student should have access to computer science education in the same way that every student takes biology. Not because we expect every student who takes biology to become a medical doctor, but because they need to understand basic anatomy. In the same way, we don't expect every student to become a software engineer who takes computer science education, but we want every student to understand how technology works and how it impacts the world around them. Too often our students, and I speak as a mother of two children myself, are so dependent on the devices that they have in front of them. But they, we want them to be not just consumers of technology, but truly creators of it as well. Unfortunately, students who want to enter into technology industries, the pathways are limited because of lack of access starting in K-12 education. In Louisiana, only 29% of public high schools teach computer science. Comparatively, Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, and Arkansas's access to computer science is respectively 49, 65, 82, and 92 percent. Louisiana is far behind the country and even further behind the region. If we want to prepare students for the careers of today and tomorrow, we must ensure that they have access to computer science education, and it starts by creating a state roadmap outlining the intended goals, outcomes, and timeline to ensure every student in the state who wants to learn computer science has the opportunity to do so. We thank the Senator for carrying this bill, and we are strongly in support. Happy to answer questions. Thank you very much. You may identify yourself for the record. Good morning, Mr. Chairman, members. Kevin Ainsworth here for Amazon. We just wanted to, you to hear from a company that is part of Louisiana that is desperately wanting to hire more Louisianians. We've already created 7,000 jobs, and when the fulfillment centers in Baton Rouge and Shreveport are up, we'll add another 2,000 jobs in Louisiana. Um, Amazon's constantly and already has thousands of software engineers hired, but they want to hire more in Louisiana, and Louisiana's falling behind. Um, as you heard, 29% compared to 90% plus in Alabama, 65% in Mississippi. We're not even close. Um, Amazon's doing its part. It's giving away 100 scholarships a year to, to kids, $40,000 scholarships with paid internships to Amazon. But we, we'd like to see Louisiana do its part. And um, we think this is a critical first step. We want to thank the committee and Senator Hewitt for being the, cha the champion of computer science in Louisiana. 
All right. Thank you for your testimony. And Mr. Chairman, if it would be all right, I could, I'd like to give you all each a little handout if the Sergeant in Arms would do that. Sorry. It'll show you a map of the country of computer science offerings in the different states and how far we are behind, as well as kind of a little road map on what good computer science game plan, a state plan should look like. Sergeant at Arms, if you pass, pass it out to the members of the committee. Thanks uh, to the two of you to come in, uh, for coming to before the committee to testify. Senator, we do have uh, individuals who wish to testify in favor of the bill. State your name for the record and you may present your testimony. Sure. My name is Kelly Cagle. I'm a Louisiana um, citizen, lifelong resident of Jefferson Parish. I have eight children. Um, some of them are bonus. So, um, but my kids are at, um, have been or are currently at Haynes Academy, uh, Kinder Discovery, Grace King, and probably a couple of other schools that I'm forgetting. I also am the Director of Business Development and Supplier Diversity for a woman-owned small Baton Rouge firm, Vinformatics LLC, and we provide IT services. This bill is long overdue. As a mom, I can tell you that. As a director at an IT service firm where we are looking, again, at hiring our locals, giving our Louisiana children a future. And this bill, I think, does exactly that. So we um, definitely support this bill. Thank you. There are no questions. Thank you very much for your testimony. Uh, Senator Abraham has moved that Senate Bill 190 be reported as amended. Any objections to Senate Bill 190 being reported as amended? Here are no objections. That bill is reported as amended.